to start today's video, I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to these honorable soldiers that are out there putting their lives on the line, putting their reputations on the line. Check this out. Yeah. Get that painting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. They got the Mona Lisa. What was that, French? They're doing it. They're changing minds. They're changing the weather. It's amazing. The Mona Lisa, yeah, they probably just wiped off the protective coating, the protective covering on the painting, and nothing really got damaged. Nobody really listened to them, but still, you have to, you have to respect it, right? <laughs> or laugh at it, I guess. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Z Education, and welcome to another Clown World episode, where we highlight the absurd, the clowns, the fools, all of the people in our idiocracy, our growing and evolving idiocracy here in 2024. Why do we do this? Because it's important. A lot of these people, they get into places of power and they tell you what to do and you have to obey. Okay? So don't laugh. Don't cringe. None of that. If you do, you lose. And I don't, you, you got to go and uh, throw some soup on a painting. That's your punishment today. That's that. I just thought of it. You're, that's what you got to do. We have to get to today's video. If you are ready for today's cringe, you lose and you accept the terms. If you cringe or laugh or just watch this video, you lose and you have to go throw some painting on a soup can. What did I just say? Go throw some painting on a soup can. Go throw some painting on a soup can. If you lose, you have to go throw soup on a painting. What did I say? A did I say can? Whatever. Head down and like this video. And if you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you cringe, you lose, go. Doctor, I'm depressed because of the weather in 30 years. Have you tried destroying priceless artwork? There we go. We had to, had to bring this meme up. Lo I, slow clap for this one. I love it. One of my favorite ones. That's what these people are doing. They're changing stuff. They are. Not actually. It's it's a joke. Throwback to housing prices in 1955. Two bedrooms, one bath, screened in porch, carport. Look at that monthly payment. $47.92. Would you guys just love a $47.92 payment? Obviously, that's a little different. You got to apply the, the inflation since then. What the dollar was worth then versus now. But still, you know, those numbers, they look real nice. Real nice. I've just seen this in the shop and it's just backs up about my post the other day about how shit the UK's got. I can't believe they're actually doing this in shops now. This is, I'm in a co-op. Blocks of cheese put in a f***ing plastic container <laughs> so people ain't robbing cheese. What? What the f*** has the UK come to? All that cheese locked up. You can't steal it. <laughs> Get out. That is a, that's a first. Locking up the cheese. People are stealing the cheese? All right, then. Okay, I have not seen that yet here in the States. Anyone? Anyone see that? U.S. military, 41,000 troops short of recruitment goal. And this, uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is a thing. Maybe we could find this headline. They just lowered the standards to get into the military. You don't have to have a, you don't have to have graduated high school. You just have to pass the ASVAB at a 50 or above. So, uh, yeah, uh, there we go. This problem keeps getting bigger and bigger. Sadly, I'm not surprised. Nine body parts you can sell for profit. Stop it. This is not real. There's no way this is real. When funds are tight, sometimes getting a second job or refinancing your home just won't cut it. There's, I, I have to, I, I'm going to assume that this is satire. Someone photoshopped this. There's no way this is real. There's no way. Don't do that. You need your body parts. Donate your hair to locks of love if you really want to donate a body part. That's about as far as you should go. It's just my opinion. More tax dollars down the litter box. Peak performance. The NAH used a portion of a $2,700,000 grant to whisk away your hard-earned money to Russia and fund a study on feline cardio. Did it really go to that though? Or is that just lining the pockets whoever ran this study? I, you gotta ask. If you go through these bills, many of them have things like this in there. It's hilarious. But they tie the headline to it. it, it it's a joke, okay? I'm glad Rand Paul talks about it still. These are some of the things in there. Do I want men to be attracted to me? Eh. Do I want women to be attracted to me? Eh. Do I want anybody to be attracted to me? Eh. But do I want strangers to think that there's a pretty good chance that I'll bite them if they get too close to me in public? Yeah. Uh, all right. And um, careful. Careful out there, folks. Careful out there. That's all I'll say there. 
Montreal police warned the public not to post videos of thieves stealing your mail online because it could be a violation of the thieves' private life. I refuse to believe this one too. There's no way this is real. There's no way. There's no way. I this someone's making a joke. Ha ha ha. Nice joke. This is insanity. It's not true. That's not real. The obesity pay gap is worse than previously thought. I know we've had this one before, but I still, I again, we're, are we satire or real? Satire, real. I don't know. I don't know at this point. I think this is fake. I think that there's, I, ugh, I'm, I'm going, I'm going crazy today. Why airplanes crashes are now safer than ever with this photo. And I hate to tell you that this one is real. I saw this one. That's a, that's real with that photo. I'm telling you right now, nobody survived that plane crash. And you're writing about play, airplane crash safety. California family sues over eighth grader suspension for wearing blackface at football game. Get uh, So that picture on the far left was his blackface? Is that a joke? Is Is this real? That's a kid overusing eye black. Football players do that all the time. Yes, it looks silly, that, but that is not blackface. If that's what they're saying was blackface, that's insane. NBA star Ryan Rollins is accused of stealing groceries, body wash, and candles from the same Target store seven times, despite a fully guaranteed $1.7 million contract with the Wizards this season. Did he elaborate on this? Like, what's the need to steal? When you're making $1.7 million in a year, take taxes out of that. We'll just say you made a million dollars after taxes. What are you doing? Dude, students dress as furries could be collected by animal control if new Oklahoma bill passes. That's from Rolling Stone. What the? I feel like I'm like further and further removed from the news cycle recently. Like, was this real too? Dude, I, is, maybe this episode should be called Real or Satire. I, I'm losing it today. My name is Horace, and I'm a red-tailed hawk. In our world, I do have the body of a hawk, but while fronting, I consider myself a Therian because I am in a human body, but my identity is still a hawk. Not all animal alters will identify this way, and I am, in fact, the only animal alter in our system who does identify this way. But I am doing my best to come to terms with living in a human body. In 2024, you can be whatever you want to be. Don't cringe. You can do, you can do that. We're not even halfway through this video, but I'm going to nominate that girl for clown of the day. We got to start doing that clown or clown of the week. We'll say that that's clown of the week right there. Uh, I've never understood that. You know, if you got bad service, you should definitely say something, but you don't, you don't have to do that. That's, that's, that's childish clownish. You're the clown of the clown of the week. Top 10 discoveries about ancient people from DNA in 2023. Beaver ponds may exacerbate warming in Arctic, scientists say. Beavers are making the Arctic warm? Beavers! Oh, no! It's the beavers doing it. I knew it! Stop eating meat. Stop the beavers. Huff your own farts. That's how we pop, That's how we stop it. Throw soup on the, the paintings. That's how we fix things, guys. Chicago public schools lost $23 million worth of laptops, iPads, and other devices in one year. Mm. They lost... I gotta give a round of applause this, you know, because this is beautiful. They lost or they were stolen. And then here's here's what the solution is, right? The solution isn't, hey, maybe this culture of stealing in the public school system, because, or oh, I'm sorry, losing $23 million, maybe that is not the issue. The root of that issue is not how we tell kids and teachers how to conduct themselves and, and be a good person to not steal, I'm sorry, lose things. The solution is just to throw more money at it. So if we had a hundred million dollars, that wouldn't have been the problem, right? And then the kids would do better in school. 
just throw more money at it. That, <laughs> that's, yeah. Sadly, sadly, I'm joking around here, but that is the thought. That is the mentality. Just throw more money at it. That's it. Yeah. Do another referendum. Things are going bad. They're going to get worse. But hey, if we had $100 million more to line the pockets of all these people, I mean, lose just lose it accidentally, then yeah. Seattle teacher told student it's offensive to identify as straight as it implies others are crooked. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. It just, yeah. <laughs> You're bad. You're bad, yeah. Colorado's Interstate 70 has a mile marker for... 419.99 instead of 420 due to repeated thefts of the original 420 mile marker sign. Grow up. Grow up. What the? Is that a thing now? For, I, I got the heebie jeebies. That reminds me of like a tarantula. Do you know the dude that, that, that finds that attractive? I don't think that's attractive. That's weird. What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring for you guys? 500 grand, okay? We need a mother rock on this finger. A rock, you hear that? I don't care if you're broke as Take your mama's life savings, take your life savings, take your grandma's life savings, and get me a rock. There is no price limit. Whatever the I pick out, you're buying. Pierre. Yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the wedding ring? What's your price? For you? No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you? Um. Why are you looking at me like that? Like a thousand bucks. <laughs> oh, dang uh watch out for those landmines boys you should not be spending 500 grand on a ring that's insane maybe if you're jeff bezos go spend on whatever you want you got unlimited money but uh that's that's silly that's just silly freckle tattoo is a new trend what that's a trend Okay, I guess. Um, if that's what you want, go ahead. That's that's my answer. I don't... Whatever. Kind of a weird trend, honestly. You live in a storage unit. Number two... What? I live in a storage unit because it's cheap in comparison to an apartment. Living here is actually really comfortable. I get a lot of things that I need and want to get done here. I can exercise. I can use the bathroom. I can play music anywhere in the unit. It's climate controlled in here, so it's nice and warm. This unit is 24 hours, so I can come here anytime I want, stay here as long as I need to. We can take naps if we need to and go to sleep. So this is our living space. Very, very grateful to have this space. The next goal is to get an RV. The next goal after that, tiny home. And if we want to eat, I just cook right out front. Or we'll just prepare something cold inside of the unit. Sandwiches, a lot of times we make salad. If we want to get power, we use our power bank. They also have power here so we can charge our power bank. Me and my baby will live here as long as we need to until we get the shelter that we want. Because we're living here, now we can save up more money to get what we really want. We're in it for the long haul. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Times are hard, I guess. Um, I will say, though, dude, like, hey, I'm pretty sure that's against the law across the country. So making a video about it, I, w I would delete that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now it's on YouTube, but... Um, not a good idea. Not a good idea. You'll, I don't know if you'll get in trouble for that, but they'll kick you out for sure, I guess. But hey, times are hard. So you got to do what you got to do, I suppose. But I, I, I recommend doing something else if you can. What do we got here? Is this, this must be art in 2024. What is this? This is art? I haven't seen a single piece of art yet. What is that? Hold on, pause it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back to this. What is that? Like the spring bed of a cot? Oh, okay, let's continue. Knife. What? Uh, okay, there there was not a single piece of art in here. Zero. Not This is garbage that someone put on a wall. What am I watching here? Okay, we got... 
Oh no, th I feel like this is gonna be gross. Oh, dude, no. Oh! 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 Oh, oh dude. That's disgusting. I don't even know if we can show that. Maybe I might have to go in extras. <laughs> I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a 9 to 5 for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat all by myself. I would not be capable of doing that. 20 years ago when you were getting started, you could live on your own. 20 years ago when you first started, you were able to do everything that I am now struggling to do. Let me add another perspective here. You've been working for 20 years. You have 20 years of working experience behind your belt. You have 20 years of experience in a career that has allowed you to gain raises, to get more money, to profit you in an economy that you created. You can sit here and you can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but I've been working my tail end off just to barely make it by. And respectfully, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't want to work my tail end off, wasting all of my life working just to barely be able to pay my bills. And that is what you created, not Gen Z. We're just here getting started. You've been doing it for the last 20 years. You tell me how it got ruined. We can sit here and we can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but you let the economy turn into what it did. You let it all run to hell and now it's gen z's fault because we don't want to work to fix your mistakes mm. pointing a finger you that, that's really silly um very very silly and i don't want to work a nine to five the rest of my life that's that's what you said that that is kind of lazy like having a job is also being of service to the people around you right so it's not just not wanting to work at all that's a little entitled just a little bit I'm not saying wages are amazing right now um, I'm not saying they weren't a little bit better back then before all this inflation, but yeah, yeah, it's a little unhinged, just a little bit. If baristas should make as much money as doctors is just a more polite way of asking if baristas should have the same quality of life as physicians, as doctors, because framing it to make it just about money is nicer than just openly admitting that some people should have better lifestyles than others simply because their job is X. And before you say it, like, yeah, I know that we need incentives for people to do certain jobs, but especially with healthcare where it's literally life and death, I would hope that the incentive for people to go into those fields is not because of the pay. I would hope that the pay is just kind of seen as a bonus and that this is truly their passion considering that they're going to have their patients' lives in their hands. And when I break down why people say that we need those incentives for specifically a field like a doctor, a lot of people fall back on well, it's so much school. Well, it's so much time. Okay, then the incentives should reflect that. We should give them alternative schedules. We should give them free school. Uh, we should give oh, people geez. UBI so that they don't have to worry about <laughs> that as they go through said school. Making upper education free. Do you know how many more people would be able to actually follow through with their interest in medicine if it weren't for the cost? But yeah, I don't think that baristas should have an inherently worse quality of life simply because they are baristas and not doctors. Yours truly, the communist who's finishing up her math in public health before going to med school. Yeah. Oof, tough. There's a Reddit moderator for you. Um, <clears throat> no, that's insane. It's basic economics. The supply of the labor, unlimited supply of baristas versus the supply of skilled surgeons and doctors. This is lower because the supply is unlimited. It's very easy to microwave bagels and put coffee in a cup. It is, sadly. You know what? A lot of people can do that. Not many people can go and memorize medical information for years, grind out 12 plus hour shifts, working on surgery, cutting out appendixes, delivering babies. No, it's insane. And free schooling. I wonder how, you know, why do we have a problem with the cost of school? Maybe it has a little bit to do with government subsidized loans. Maybe just a little bit. So making them free, free. How, yeah, what a stupid TikTok. Yes, general preferences are always transphobic. You're welcome. No, but seriously, deciding that you don't want to be intimate with someone because of the genitals they have is transphobic, particularly like if you think about... In All right, nope, not listening to the rest of that. That's dumb. Uh, and if it's a joke, which I hope it is, 
that's a really bad joke. Sadly, people really think that. If that is real, then... Fauci admits to Congress that certain COVID social distancing guidelines lack scientific basis. Sort of just appeared. You mean to tell me that circle on the grocery store floor didn't protect me? Get out of here. They wouldn't just do that. It wasn't just mass psychosis or panic doing silly things like that. That that worked. That helped. Stop it. Fauci. Here's my hot take as a doctor. I totally agree. It is okay to be fat. We don't say that enough, but it needs to be normalized. If you are fat, that is okay. It is typically not a problem that requires immediate solving. It is not an emergency. You don't have to drop everything in the pursuit of being not fat. Aaron said this other thing in a different video that I totally agree with as well, is that it is okay to not be healthy. We act like it is this moral failing, this cardinal sin that you deserve a scarlet letter if you are not healthy. And there's a name for that, and that's called healthism. Now, don't get me wrong. In my line of work, healthism? there's a lot of people that I see that want to gain weight, lose weight, take other measures that they think will improve their health in some way. And by all means, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you with that and be supportive of that. But a good doctor will not judge you for being fat. They will not judge you for being unhealthy. They will not judge the decisions that you made or the decisions that were made for you, which is the much more likely scenario that got you to the point where you are right now. We're here to help you with the changes that you want to make. And if you are someone who wants to lose weight for health purposes, and there are certain scenarios where losing weight can be health promoting, we're here to help you with that. We are also here to help you if you decide to not make any changes at all. We're still there. Healthism. That's from a doctor. This is what happens with your lower standards uh, for med school and stuff. Um, <laughs> this is insane. I know. I, I would say I would agree. I, I don't. I don't care if you're fat or not. But uh, to say that being unhealthy is okay, because and that is unhealthy, truly. And I don't think you need to tell people who are overweight that. I think they know that. Um, but to have a doctor say that that is okay and say, hey, you shouldn't make any changes. That's not bad on your organs. Uh, you're probably not going to make it into your 70s. Really? Because the, you don't go see many people in the nursing home who are morbidly obese. That's just a fact. I, I, you probably see zero people. Shame on this doctor. Tinder date was not that she had to split the bill. Well, what'd you say? Why are you splitting the bill? Well, I mean, it's our first date, so I thought we should maybe go hot. I can't believe you made us split the bill. I mean, you ordered an appetizer that I didn't even touch. Why do you think that I should okay, pay for Okay, but you asked me out. I know, but you ordered something you that I did You asked me out. All right, I'll just take you home and... All right, see ya. Hello? Hello? See ya. Bye. Dude, I can't believe you recorded that and posted it online. That is, uh, if you asked her out, uh, and you're the guy, and I really think that the, the guy should probably pay on the first date. You know, that's, call me old fashioned. You're, you're wrong, buddy. You're wrong. I, I, I think it's safe to assume there wasn't a second date. What are these guys doing? Whoa! Why'd you do that? Hey! There's valuables in there, buddy. Hey! What is going on here? Why, why are you... This is why you always do carry on if you can, folks. <laughs> and I'm not saying y'all do this. I just, oof. All right, let's 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 move on. That's um, shame on you guys. If your if your luggage was broken, you have a broken suitcase. This is probably why. All female flight crew, go off, queens. And that was very quickly deleted. Southwest, why did you delete this? Do you not support your all female crews, huh? Why'd you delete this? I'm going to be honest with you. When I'm flying, I don't 
care. The the one thing I care about is getting there safely. So I don't want I want the standards up here. I don't want anyone cutting the standards. If you meet the standards, awesome. If you can fly the plane safely and get us there, that's all I care. That's all I care. I don't want to be, you know, including people if we're lower on the, the guidelines. That's it. That's all I care. That's all I care. So, and Southwest, what's going on here? Why'd you delete this? Don't you care about women on your plane? Unbelievable. Sticking the homeless between a rock and a hard place. The state just dropped nearly 700K on rocks. That's right. Taxpayer dollars are buying boulders, hundreds of them. Washdot is strategically placing these obstructions along highways to keep campers out. Cities like Tacoma have caught heat for using similar hostile architecture tactics before. Hostile so architecture. I'm asking, is this the most humane way of handling the homeless crisis on our state's right of ways? Yes, 1000%. I support that. Oh, it's not humane. Look, sometimes a little tough love. Sometimes a little, hey, you can't sleep here. Go find another place. Maybe in their walk to another place, they decide, hey, wow, I need to make some changes. Maybe if you just let them stay there and sleep there, they don't have that thought. That's just the way I see it. I fully support this. What do you think about today's video? Did you cringe? Did you laugh? If you did, you lose. If you watched, you lose. You know, you got to go throw some soup on a painting. And how many of these? Okay. How many of these are real and how many are satire? Maybe we got to rename the whole series of this because some of these, I just can't believe some of these are real. It's hard to fathom. That we're at this level of idiocracy that we, the, we can't even tell if someone's joking or not. Let me know what you think down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. For the children. Idiots.